Jujutsu Kaisen episode 14, we're finally heading to the exchange event, this one I think it is group battle zero, so I'm guessing this is going to be like preparations, or maybe we're getting the first battle, they just call it zero again. For the first time in a long long while, Itadori is going to meet up with the other guys again, Megumi and Nobara, who all think that he is dead, everyone else except for Gojo and Nanami, and um, the guy that's always with him, that agent or whatever. They are the only people that know he's alive. All the other people think that he is dead. So yeah, I'm very excited to get into this exchange event. Let's get into it, man. Is this that other thing again? Who's the, uh... She's smoking some brains. Joko. Yeah, I need to remember these names. I'm so frustrated that this thing survived, man. Yeah, he almost got killed. Ah. He called him trash, basically. Yeah, he would have refused either way. Sukuna at the moment, he has no worries. He has the most powerful weapon at the moment. Because he can transform any time he wants for a whole minute. Just by saying, I can't remember what's the word. But if he just says the word, then he transforms and there's nothing Itadori can do about it. It's the pact they already formed a long while ago. And Itadori completely forgot about it. Oh, so they're going to find all those fingers, okay? He already ate them. Okay, so they haven't let him just eat on all of them. They've kind of just given him one for one. Okay. What the hell? Is this like a new intro? Yeah, it's a new intro. I wanted to say it feels like that previous episode was the end of a season. So yeah, this is a new intro and everything. Gojo looks clean as hell, but what? Oh shit, okay, that looks hella cool. Let's get into it, man. I've got it, what? What? Bruh, you can't do that on your own. <laughs> yeah, what kind of idea was that, bro? <laughs> you love about Gojo. Everything. <laughs> oh, where is the finger? Yep. Yeah, he's crazy strong now. Let's hey, let's go, Itadori. Well, I love this guy, man. Waka waka. Oh, let's go. Yeah, they need to make it like a crazy introduction. Yeah. It'll solve the... <laughs> Gojo is dumb. <laughs> Go with the flow. Oh no. <laughs> Held in Tokyo. Oh, okay. Well, I feel bad for Nobara. They give her whack information. Not everyone. You're forgetting about the boy Yuji, Mr. Itadori. Yeah, this is the guy who I was confused about. It's a whole robot. Who's this guy? He looks mad wise. Yeah. He apparently is really talented because that other spirit has a specific... Oh no, Sakuna has a specific thing out for him as well. He, like, he saw something in him. Oh, Gojo is late. <laughs> is Itadori inside? <laughs> Bro, he's so dumb. <laughs> Souvenirs. Yeah. We have this, it's Itadori. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, they're so confused now. <laughs> they're just in shock. He's just alive, bro. <laughs> he might just die from the shock, bro. That's... <laughs> That's a little bit offensive, even from Gojo. 
Yeah. They're just mad. More than, like, happy. In two days, I could not see anything this day then. Wacky Curse Spirit Exorcism Race. What? Bro, I just realized how that girl's hair is standing, bro. What? Well, the wind commences. Okay, so I'm guessing we're just going to have a chill episode. Found that talk, yeah? Talman. <laughs> but this is so confusing. Amplifies the power of. Okay. Ah, finally, we understand why he's talking like that. Okay. Ah, uh, okay, that makes sense. Huh? Ah, uh, yeah. Ah. Uh, wait, it broke. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> he, he knows he's in trouble. That blindfolded dumbass, what? Punch and kick. Yeah, that's true. Itadori is bold death. Yeah, interesting, yeah. I can't wait. I hope he's like super OP against these guys, man. Wait, what is that? Wow. That's horrible. This guy's like pretending him to kill him. I don't think this is the strat because then Sakuna will come out and kill these people. Bro, they're about to fight this guy. Old man. And your bad taste in women. Here we go again, man. I'll kill you. Okay. What is this thing? It's just like... It's like a clock. They're fully going after Itadori. Wow. Damn, he can wipe them all out with a single curse word, okay? That's a younger sister, though. That's good. Though. I'm not mad, wow. Now she's mad. Yeah, that's true. Okay, yeah. Finally. Oh, wait. You're weak. Yeah. Oh, the infinite around him. That's crazy. What happened? Yeah, he's talking about Junpei. I don't want to lose either, let's go. I feel very stressed about this next few episodes because while well, they are just going to be going after curses, these people are gonna go after Itadori. Let's win. Let's go man. This is like a new ending as well. Oh, that's all cute, bro. What? I swear they fought. Bro, this ending is hella like, cute, man. I enjoy it. Oh, but Itadori isn't there. That's quite sad. Or is he the one recording this? Ah, oh, he's the one recording. Let's go, man. Oh, man. That's way too awesome, bro. Oh, no. This is what the other guy was talking about. Toto was talking about. He's going to this thing. This girl again. What the hell is a gold goatfish? Right, the shoes, man. He's drunk. That's my. Oh, bro, this is weird. Seriously? What? That's very random. Okay. Yeah, they're fighting each other. This is sad, actually. That's what I thought in the beginning it was going to be them just fighting against each other, but um, I'm guessing it's like. Uh, Kind of like side quest they almost get when they get there. Yeah, I'm guessing this is kind of like the first day or whatever. They're trying to kill as much of these curses as they possibly can. Like we saw there. And um, the next episode is possibly going to be that. 
but kind of they're going after Itadori at the moment, which is very frustrating because that means next episode, well, they are like under off their guard. They're not thinking about people attacking them or, you know, very crazy strong curses or anything. It's just lower grade curses. And then all of a sudden these people are going to come up and attack them. That's crazy, man. I don't know how I feel about this. I feel it's it's very, you know, shitty for the Jiu-Jitsu school to be like this. Like they're supposed to be, um, no, they are competing or whatever, but they're supposed to be on the same side against the curses or whatever, you know, to save people from these curses. And for them to be this against each other is, is kind of sad, you know. I can't wait to get into the next episode, get into that, you know, those actual battles. Yeah. I'm glad the group is back though, you know, Nobara, Megumi, and Itadori, they're all one in one group again, that's super cool. Yeah, that was a great episode, if you guys enjoyed today's episode, leave a like and subscribe if you see more content like this. Head over to the channel, I'll be uploading two videos every single day if you guys want to check that out. But yeah, like I said, that's for today's video, see you guys in a minute, take care.